Greetings everyone. Welcome to JLens. And on today's tutorial, we'll be discussing classes and objects. Object-oriented programming. That's the core of uh, programming to C++. Okay, before we begin, what's a class? Let's start by discussing what a class is in a practical form. Well, a class it's like a blueprint so at last it's a template of objects an object is an instance of at last so um, a basic example is a car so a car is at last and the model of the car or the type of the engine are the objects so at last it's more like a a category of something like an animal an animal is at last but a dog a cat a bird those are objects okay let's build a simple program so first things first we'll need to include our header files Okay, here I included hash, in, hash include IO stream for input out, input and output streams, and we'll also need to include string for using uh, working with with strings. Using namespace std, we need to include that so that when we input the output to the console, we don't have to write std before c out. Okay, so how do you build that last? So what's the structure of at last? All you need is at last keyword, then the name of your last. Let's say car for example. Okay, inside every class we have access specifiers so access specifiers specify um, the visibility of your class members so you have public and private uh, public data members are public so meaning you can access them even outside that class but private data members can only be accessed from inside that class so we generally use private private access specifier for declaring variables oh and also guys variables in classes are called attributes and functions are called methods and they are often referred to as class members or data members okay firstly we'll have a private access specifier which will have um, let's have at least three attributes or three variables the first one we'll just name this the brand so we need the brand of the car the second one will have a, the model or what's the model of the car then the last one will just have the year when was it released okay those are our private uh, data members as you can see these are attributes so they specify the actual car so at last it's like a blueprint or the template it has um three three attributes okay let's go on to public what are our public data members okay in our public let's just define a construct and by the way a constructor it's a method or a function that is automatically called whenever you instantiate a class so whenever you create the object um whenever you instantiate the object rather um the constructor is automatically called so 
it is useful for instantiating uh, or initializing your variables and you'll see later how it actually works so for a constructor you just need to name the name of your constructor is the same as the name of your class so over here our class is a car so our constructor also has to have the name of a car okay so we, we could have uh, a non-parameterized constructor or a parameterized construct so non-parameterized constructor is a constructor that doesn't have any parameters so meaning that's just it so it's just a void function we could initialize these values using this like we are not taking any data okay let's have two constructors a parameterized and a non-parameterized construct okay this one will have three parameters to initialize the brand the model and the year so the first var variable will just call this b yeah to keep it simple then the second one will just name this an m for model then the last one will have an integer variable for storing the year so let's just name that y okay here's our skeleton or our structure of our class our class is complete okay this was only the prototyping so we are prototyping our car setting the blueprints the attributes so now we have to write the implementation or to implement how these variables will work because just as it is there's no function like it only has attributes but no method nothing to do so we have to write the implementation um how do we do that well it's easy you just write the name the name of your class then you just write these two semicolons i don't know what they are called but if uh, any of you knows just uh, hit me up on the comments and let everyone know okay we'll just call these uh, colons so there are two colons they just specify that inside this class i want to access this so what do you want to access we want to access oh and guys as you can see we uh, on these attributes we have some kind of red dots there it just simply means they are private data members meaning you can't access them as you can see you are outside of the class so you can't change their value or do anything to them so we'll just have to use these green ones the first one is the non-parameterized con construct okay this is the implementation form as you can see it's weird but that's how it is you just have to work with it okay first thing you write the name of your class so the class you are trying to access so we are trying to access a card class what are we accessing Th this method so this construct a non-parameterized construct and this is an implementation as you can see it's like a function so these are just for function implementation or writing the code of the function okay so in our non-parameterized constructor we can just set the values to anything we want like default values so let's just name the brand to cause it's a string you need to put it inside co quotations okay let's just name this z the model just name that j and the year 
okay 2021 there as you can see these values they can be used as default values because you won't find the car of these these values like uh, a brand called all z's or a model called all j's produced this year so they are allowed as default values or you can also use empty strings just empty these it also works just simply means if there are no values if you didn't provide any values then use these default values okay let's head on to our par parameterized construct so same format the name of the class accessor then what are we trying to access um the car so it's a constructor also but this time we wanna provide uh values initial values so we'll just copy this and paste it in there okay so yeah now we've received values we've received uh, the first parameter b m and y so we can use these values to initialize these uh, private data members so brand will equate it to b then model equate that to m yeah equate that to y okay uh that's it guys that's yeah that, that that's it we are done with the implementation so to rephrase we just we use two constructors a, a non-parameterized and a parameterized constructor um, we initialize the we initialize this to default values initialize this to initial values that will provide when instantiating the construct okay as you can see here we were able to change the value or to modify the value of these data members because we were using a method we were using a constructor method without this you you can't do something like trying to change the brand outside the class it, it won't work because you can only access those variables using those uh, attributes rather you can only access these using public methods so anything that's in public can access whatever is in private <coughs> okay sorry about that um now we can write our main function so to save time okay that's our main function i'm sure you all know what this does what this does i won't bother explaining because if you are doing classes it means you've passed programming one and these are the basics but if you don't understand you can check out my pro programming one course you'll find everything in detail okay first things first in our main function we are instantiating our object so create the car object and call the constructor with different values so as you can see um we used a parameterized construct over here because we provided initial values like bmw x5 1999 so this is a description of a car so that's what they mean when they say an object is an instance of a class so at first we had we had a class so a, a blueprint of a car but we didn't know what what kind of car it was so using the object we can specify the type of car the year the model and the brand okay 
we could also not provide default values if we have no default values or arguments then this will be instantiated with these values so if you try to print these values you'll get these ones so let's just use the parameterized one okay over here we have two objects just to show you like how useful classes are or actually the main reason why they exist so classes exist to to make your job easy like the, there's this method called the try method meaning a uh, you're trying to reduce uh, actually the reusability of code so when we have a class like this we could reuse it anywhere in our program rather than having to inst uh, write these values down for every model of a car we want to instantiate okay so using the same class we can create two objects with different attributes so we provide different parameters to define different cars using the same class so as you can see it's just the tree like it, 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 it's an hierarchy the class is at the top so it's the blueprint then the object identifies what, what type of car like the actual attributes is the actual the actual car okay so over here we are trying to print out um the, the values of this okay see out you all know what that does so we are uh, consoling to the output or displaying to the output what are we displaying first we are displaying the brand of the first object so this is the format the dot syntax for accessing the members inside your, your class or your object you write the object name then dot followed by the name or the attribute that you wanna retrieve okay same thing for model object car one dot model so on this object we are trying to access the model so give us the value of the model okay if if we try to run this let's see what we get okay there is an error that's unfortunate but yeah it's an error why is it an error because we we declared this here variable as an integer now we are trying to initialize it to a to a string so c plus plus is saying no 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 that's not how it works let's just remove the codes and save run okay another error car brand is a is private within this con context okay it all goes back to private data members so you you can access private data members using outside the class so to show you um i'll just cut this so i removed all my attributes from the private now i'm try i'm using them in the public so all my class members are in public meaning they are visible everywhere so you can access them anyway let's run okay yeah it works as you can see we have bmw x5 ford mustang 1969 just as we were trying to display why because 
now we are accessing these public members because they are public we can access them from the main function okay now let's take these back to our private and try to access them from the private okay so because they are private we can't just access them we have to have some kind of a method from public okay um we generally use um getter methods for getting data or retrieving data from at last and we use setter method for setting the date so the name actually explains itself so by using the setter we can do the same thing that we did here we, we, we set the value of um, the attributes or the private data members the getters we get the date okay so as you remember we were getting an error let me run it again i love seeing errors because it gives room for debugging so anyway yeah that's our error we, it's saying car brand is private within this con context okay it's private now we need a public public method to access that so if we are trying to get data if we are trying to get data what are we retaining or are we retaining something as you remember from programming one we have two different kinds of uh, functions a function that returns something and one that doesn't return anything so that's void and a data type function like a bool a string and int so over here we are trying to return a string a string and an int so we could define three functions retaining those data types so we'll have a string function and an integer function okay enough talk let's implement string string get get brand okay because it's it's the method oh and getter methods or getters they always always actually not always but most of the time you won't be receiving anything so you won't have a parameter because you are just grabbing information from the class and display so you are not setting anything so you, you are not using any parameters okay so same thing for for the model we just change the name we get the model then lastly we get the year so get yeah okay we have our getter methods the get brand get model and get get the yeah. so these methods will return to our to us the current value of that or the value of the of the object the object attribute like car object one we have the brand as bmw so when we get brand it will return to us the, the the brand so it will say bmw so how do you tell c plus plus to give you that okay that's also easy same thing you did here but now it's a little different cause as you can see uh, on your constructor you didn't have any data type of some sort so you didn't have to write anything before you just start with the name so now because you are retaining something so your, your methods retain some sort of date you have to specify also so it's a string get brand okay as you can see guys it looks a lot like a function 
a lot like a function all you just need to do is add these so you can just copy that to specify that okay my method is from the cutlass so inside cutlass i'm trying to access the get brand method and the get get brand method returns a string so which string you just return the brand okay so same thing for the model instead of get brand we'll get the model okay lastly the year so it's an int the data type we change it to int car inside car we want to get the year so return what are we returning we are returning the year okay so guys we are done with our implementation uh, to recap we we declared um three methods for getting so they are getter method we are getting data from the class as you can see they are public so meaning they have the ability to access whatever is inside the private okay so when implementing same format as we used guys please please never forget this is the format this is how you access the class outside so you specify the name of the class then two semicolons then the name of the function then you return the date okay now hopefully hopefully it has to work now but it don't work as it is because right here we are trying to access this private data member so instead of using brand we could use our function get brand so this function will just return to us the brand so same thing with the second object we are returning the brand so okay the first one brand the second one we want to get the model same thing we get the model instead of just model and here we are getting the because it's a function we need these parameters so get there we need these to show that this is a method so car object one dot get model it gives us the model we can um, use good pro uh, programming practices and write to the user what they are getting so let's just write the string and concatenate it with our values so over here we'll just say a brand of of kawa or the first car okay brand of kawa the brand of the second car so brand of car 2 will give us the brand then I leave a space or rather a model model then yeah okay. 
okay so guys fingers crossed let's hope it works well it should work okay no errors successful compilation okay that's our program so the brand of car one is bmw the model is x5 the year is 1999 we got all those values from a class so this code is reusable object oriented programming is basically based on uh, inheritance encapsulation abstraction and also polymorphism so these are these are all just ways of working with data so object oriented programming just wants to make our job easier so you could reuse the code over and over again you don't have to repeat yourself okay guys i think that's about it um thank you like share and subscribe and i wish you i wish you well on your programming journey it's an awesome journey by the way